There's a VA rating chart for your hearing loss claims. And uh, when service connection is confirmed, the VA will assign a disability rating based on the severity of the condition, right? Diagnosis, severity of your symptoms, severity of condition, same thing. Nexus, got to have that. And then they plug it into this uh, chart here. So take a look at this chart. It isn't, I mean, I, I wouldn't recommend deep diving into this chart. You know, you have 500 decibels minus 23 other negative decibels, and you're right here. So you get 50%. So understand how they rate it, but um, this isn't a subjective uh, claim at all. You're going to go in there and hear what you hear, and then they're going to, you know, come over, and they'll probably put you over here. They love using this scale. It's usually zero, 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 and then if they go down this scale, it's like, oh, zero. Oh, there's a 10%. Better start going this way. This is why you get screwed and why it's 0% all the time. There are no audiometric findings in your service treatment records that meet the above requirements. Although hearing loss is not shown in service, acoustic trauma or military noise exposure may constitute injury of the ear. There's another word to pay attention to. It may constitute. This does not say it does constitute. We know it happened in service. We think you should uh, get a VA disability rating. The word is may, not what you want it to be. Don't read into these things and, and insert words that aren't there. May basically means nothing. Like cows may fly someday. I personally uh, don't believe that, but weird shit's happening out there. Anything may happen. Medical expertise is needed to establish a link between your current hearing loss and in-service military noise exposure. However, to this date, we have received no medical records showing that your right ear hearing loss is due to service. Every time they say link or a variation, it means you need a nexus. You have in-service acoustic trauma. Wow. They said May. They said I had in-service acoustic trauma. Hold your horses there, uh, Roy Rogers. It ain't, this isn't necessarily good. They do this. This is the way they speak to you. Hey, here's some good things, but you're denied. We may be able to do this, and cows might fly. Denied. That's just the way these decision letters are. They're built to screw around with us. And... You know, by the way, um, until you actually stop that and put up a fight, like at least an appeal and at least not quitting, until you do that, educate yourself about the process and get serious, they're going to keep fucking with you with stupid verbiage and blowing you off and stuff like that. Once you get serious, they realize you're not a pushover anymore and you're going to sit there and fight them till the day you die. And that's the mindset you need to be in. And then you need to protect your rating. So uh, we have, uh, you have in-service uh, trauma, but service connection for your left ear based on military noise exposure alone cannot be granted. It could, they're just not going to do it. For service connection of the left ear to be considered, there must first be a showing of actual hearing loss. What the fuck does that mean? Actual hearing loss? I have it. I can't hear shit. Well, they don't know that because you didn't prove it. And also, <laughs> you're for sure going to get angry when you get your decision letter. All of them, whatever, your, whatever claim you file. Your first reaction should be, I waited six months for this bullshit. So that's going to happen. You're going to be angry. And you're going to do whatever you do when you're angry. Um, just put the letter away if you don't. Don't burn it. Um, you need that letter. But you need to come back to it, and you really need to understand these words. And the best way I could describe to read your own decision letter is you need to remove yourself out of the, uh, out of the claim. Because when you're taking it personal, you just get pissed, and you can't understand. Like, you're just angry. Again, this is a uh, special tactic the VA uses. They do this to play with you. 
again, once you just decide, I am not going to let the VA play games with me anymore, and you decide to win, it just changes. For me, it happened about two years ago. This YouTube was created because I want my own way of fighting back. I'm not going to get the 27 years of being underrated and stuff. And it was my fault because I didn't educate myself. But I can help you guys get rated faster. And uh, that's the goal here. Let me jump in here real quick and tell you about my boot camp. If you want to learn more about the VA claims process, check out my boot camp. You can talk to me live. There's a link on the website. And in the description, combatcraig.com. And also, if you need medical evidence, like a nexus or documenting your symptoms properly, go to our website, combatcraig.com, and it says med team slash nexus letters. Click on that link, fill out the form, boom, you're done.